Does Hamas have the right to go in the name of defending Palestinian, go to Israel and kill men, women, children? Does Israel, the government, have the right to respond in uh, bombing Gaza indiscriminately? These are questions that is going around in the Christian round. And I got to say, as a Christian, I am uphold by some of the Christians that believe Israel in its right of existence have the right to kill men, women, and children. Who are we standing for? Today, I feel like the Lord wanted me to share the heart of the Father in heaven. And that is not the heart that one person allows or a government in the a response to terrorism has the right to kill men and women and children that are not saved. We want to stand. I love Israel. I stand with Israel, but I stand for the kingdom of Jesus Christ of Nazareth who died so that no one will go to hell, but everyone will taste of eternal life. And it's strange for me that as Christians, we have taken the side of a political government more than the government from heaven, the government we should represent. And that's the government of peace. That's the government of love. That's the government of salvation. That's the government of healing. Jesus said, when they are naked and you clothe them, when they are thirsty and you give them water, when they are sick and you take care of them, when they are in war and you pray for these people, we need to show our hearts. Don't we realize that today, the warfare is not of Israel or how we should show our support for Israel, but how we are missing the opportunity to rise above these problems that is happening in Israel. We are called to be peacemakers and peacemakers need a war. Blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the sons of God. That's you and I. As Christians, we seem to be dragged into this political realm that does not belong to you and I. We are being dragged into a dirty war that no one wins in it. But if we stand for the love that Jesus Christ had, and we stand for the righteousness, and we say, hey, we want to see the kingdom of God expanded. We want to pray for all those who are in need. Then suddenly we are not going to sacrifice our future opportunity to be the light and the salt to many Muslims around the world. Because it is the heart of the Father, I assure you. It is the Father's heart, the Father Abraham's heart for all of his sons to come home, Isaac and Ishmael. And today, we seem to have forgotten that. I'm coming to the United States of America, and we're going to go for next year or so because anti-Semitism is on the rise. And the, what government of Israel is doing and what the government of United States is doing is definitely not helping the regular Jewish people that are living around the world. And we got to say this. We got to stand with them. We got to separate those regular Jewish people that mourn the pain and the suffering of a loss of a Jewish child as much as they do an Arab child. We got to give them a voice. We got to stand with them. We got to tell the Jewish brothers and sisters. And as I go to the United States and North America, and I'll be touring the, all of Europe, we have one message. As an ex-member of a Hezbollah, I want to go to them and say, I want to hear your pain, my brothers and sisters. I want to hear the pain that was caused upon you by the terrorism that was done on October 7th. We will not disregard that day. We will not forget that day. We will not belittle that day. We stand with you. But today, we want to stand for peace. We want to stand with all the children that are suffering in Gaza also. We want to stand with all the civilians that are suffering around the, the both sides of these, these conflicts. And we want to see 
if there are those who have a heart to be vessels of peacemaking, we're going to go to our Jewish brothers and sisters and we're going to apologize to them. We're going to hear their pain and we're going to want to give them an opportunity to share about their pain. And we want to apologize to them. We want to stand and wash their feet. But at the same time, we want to look for those brothers and sisters amongst the Jews who are willing to hear the pain of Ishmael in this moment of need. Because as Christians, we are called to the ministry of reconciliation. And that's what we are all about. Don't forget that. Don't be dragged into this. As I come there, I want you to join us in your prayers. Please help us reach this message to many. As always, thank you for watching our videos. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being part of our ministry and sharing these videos with others. Blessings on you.